Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make mention uh, this word, gothic. Yes. Almost to the end, the Stepford Wives proceeds. Oh, isn't that amazing? Yes. I didn't even read this part until just this last second. Yes. Mm -hmm. Stepford Wives is in the 1974, 1975? Yes. N Newsweek. Yes. <laughs> now, did somebody set this up March 3rd in 1975? Yes. They actually have a comment about the Stepford Wives. Yes. And then they made the film in 19, 2004. Ouch. I don't know. It's coincidental that I actually had uh, have mentioned them. Yes. But it looks like they, they kind of prepped the, the population 45 years ago to accept this concept. Oops. I think it was accidental. Was it Providence? <laughs> Does God know what I'm going to do before I do it? <laughs> you know, Jesus doesn't ride with me unless, of course, I had a large uh, motorcycle that went over 250 miles per hour. <laughs> Sometimes you need God on you when you're driving that fast. <laughs> I redesigned the motorcycle. Yes. <laughs> I redesigned it. <laughs> now, uh, uh, the lines of the classic gothic thriller. Yes. Mm -hmm. Catherine Ross, the family to a glossy, seemingly normal Connecticut suburb. <laughs> but soon she, she begins to know something strange about the townswomen. <laughs> one by one, they start behaving like the most unliberated household and bedroom slaves of their un upperly mobile husbands. Why? <laughs> and will it happen to her? <laughs> I did not know. Now, there was a movie that was made in 1975. <laughs> No. <laughs> Director Brian Forbes photographs the victims of the stiffer, the most romantic way. <laughs> there is the stunning Tina Louise as an unloved beauty who suddenly acquiesces to every wish of a spouse she had formerly hated, <laughs> who delivers an extraordinary spirited cookie performance. <laughs> and after a time, the suspense flags as it grows, the, the, the forms is delivered, retarding the film's resolution. <laughs> Now, um, for those that are gothic, yes, but a gothic trail. You know, I've been emailing the suicide girls for quite a long time. Yeah, I'd seen a photograph of one of them that was very full-bodied. You know, if you do know you're programmed and you might have quite a few tattoos, yes. And your thought was, well, I've got to acknowledge the effect of technology. I might ask you to volunteer. Now, there's this thought, okay, that not all of us look pretty and sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The whole idea of you wanting to deprogram any of your sex puppet programming, suicide girls. Yes, because there's this suicide I've been emailing them for years. It's... Oh. 